Me and the boys are playing. Hey, ready? Yes. We will. Let me lecture on this first, then I'll give you the opportunity to finish. Cool. All right, so I'll lecture this first, then we'll have the opportunity to finish up the quizzes, okay? So we're going to start on scatter plots, okay? And I know you've all probably seen scatter point plots at some point during your science days, yes? Several. But well, let's just make sure we feel comfortable with it. So this talks about um, we started at some day zero and then increments of 10 days. We have a certain snowpack. So um, it says the table shows the time and days of winter after December 21st. So this is December 21st, December 31st, and then it keeps going, right? Because it's 10 days after. So that's when they started measuring. So what is the independent variable, which is the x? So is the amount of snow going to be plotted on the x or the amount of snow plotted on the y? Eight. So the days? I gave a hand this out, right? You guys have this? Yeah. Cool. And then the dependent variable is the y, which is the snow. Yeah, snow in inches or something like that. All right, just put snow. We should know what that is. Agree? Yes. Everyone stuck on that? No. We good? All right, moving on. All right, so we're going to figure out how to plot this. And of course, something they tell you to do in science is let's try and make this fit. So I get 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So on my thing, I'll put 0 here. And then what was on the x? The days? Yeah. And maybe go out like 3, 10, go out 3. So 1, 2, 3, and then 1, 2, 3. And one, two, three, and one, two, three, and one, two, three, and one, two, three. Is that okay? So I just tried to space it out a little bit so you don't have everything scrunched together. Does that seem okay? So it basically means that uh, this is like three and a third, six and two thirds, ten. Keeps going from there. Is that right? And then we had snowpack. Let's take a look at our snowpack. So it looks like it goes from 35 to 130. So I'm not going to make 35. I'm going to, I don't know. What do you think? How many lines do I have? Do I have 10 lines? More than 10? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I got 18. So we could probably start figuring out how to you know, represent the snow on here. So how much should we go up to? 130? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we'll maybe start at zero. Fives might not be enough. Six. Six. You want to go six? Yeah. All right, let's try fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, maybe? I don't know. Probably more. No. 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90. Nope, okay. So it's 10? All right, we'll hit the 10s. I thought we I thought we weren't big enough so we could squeeze it, but I'm wrong. So we seven. Seven? Okay. I'll just do 10s. 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120. 130, 140, 150, 160, 170, 180 inches of snow. Man, that'd be a lot of snow, huh? 180, sheesh. Uh, it's more than a third. Yeah, heck yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. All right, so 0, 35. So we're going to plot that right there. Is that okay? I'll pick a different color, but orange. Okay. So 0, 10, 52. I don't know about right there. Does that seem okay so far? And then I uh, keep going. I have 2078. I don't know. Somewhere in there? And then 3092. And then 4112. And 
What was the last one? Is there one more? 150 and 130. Thank you. 50 and 130. Oh, there's a line. So when you look at your data, does it look like it forms a straight line? Yeah. Kind of close. Okay, is everything in nature going to be a straight line or a nice curve? No. 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 But you can start seeing patterns. So I don't know if this is the best thing. We can't do this all year because the snow is going to start melting. Agreed? No. So what this is basically saying is 50 days after, I forget, December something. 50 days after December 21st. That's the first day of winter or something. I don't know. Okay, and then let's draw a line of best fit. And there's really no unbelievable perfect way to draw a line of best fit. Um, other than start here and just try and make it the best you can. Does that look like an okay line of best fit? Yes. Cool. So things about this line of best fit. It's rising. It has a positive slope. Agreed? There's getting more and more snow after more and more days. Is that okay? All right, so let's see. Did, did we answer everything we needed to do on this problem? So plot the points on our graph, choose the appropriate scale we did, label each axis we did, and then draw the line of best fit once we, okay? We got everything we need right there. I, I like that. Do all those points seem like they're pretty darn close to this line? For the most part, I'd say so. All right. Um, all right, so what points will we use? Well, the nice thing is our points were pretty far, you know, I would think like, I don't know, 0, 0.35 and, I don't know, 0, 0.35 and 50 and 130. They're kind of far away from each other, but they both fit on our line of best fit, so here, let's go 0, 0.35. And what was the last part? Uh, 5130. What do you think? Is this okay? Is this okay? And why did I pick those points? Well, they were far enough apart. You don't want to always pick points that are real close to each other, especially with lines best fit, because sometimes that your line of best fit, you want to match your data, not just the two points. So. Make sure they're far enough away from each other and fit on your line of best fit. And then we want to write our equation of our line. So the first thing we do for the equation of the line is we have the slope equation. Agree? And then slope equation, I'm going to do 130 minus 35. Right? Those. And then 50 minus 0. And 130 minus 35, I believe, is... 95 over 50. Is that okay? Did I do that math right? And I think I can reduce 95 over 50. I can still keep it as improper. I don't want to mix number. But I think 5 goes into both. So 5 goes into 95 19 times. And 5 goes into 50 10 times. Is that okay? So this is my slope. And so the slope in the context of the problem, what was the y component? Snow or days? Snow. 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 So the y component's on top. So you get 19 inches of snow every 10, 10, 10 days. days. Does that make sense? Oh, wow, that's a lot of snow. I, I, it is. Sure. All right, so you get you get 19 inches of snow. Is it okay if I use that for inches? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Of snow every 10 days days, which is 1.9 inches of snow per day if you wanted to round that down. Is that okay? All right, so our, have we found our equation? Have we found our equation for the line of best fit? Yes. I found the slope so far. I plotted the line of best fit, but I found the slope. What's the next thing to do after you find the slope? Pick a point, okay? Now, 0, 0,35 is a great point. Why am I going to say 0, 0,35 is a great point? What is it? That's where it starts. That's where it starts, but what's 0, 0,35? The y. The y what? Intercept. The y-intercept. 
So if this is the y-intercept right here, is that value b? And if that's value is b, that means I can plug into y equals mx plus b because I think I found my slope already. Agreed? Mm -hmm. So I have y equals 19 over 10x plus 35. What does the y-intercept mean in the context of this problem? That's where it starts. That was our first day, which was December 21st. So the y-intercept, which is 35, so you started with 35 inches of snow already. So that would have been on December 21st or whatever the date they said that they first started measuring was. How was there snow there before they started measuring? You got to pick a starting point, right? Could have been snow from last year. Could have been snow from earlier in the season. There's all kinds of things that could take place. So we were talking about, I think it was a snowpack on Wyoming Peak. That's one of our 14ers, right? Okay, so, so does your scatter plot have positive or negative correlation? Positive. It's positive. Why is it positive? It's going up. It's going up. So what, what's positive also in this problem? Slope. Slope. Cool. So being we have a positive slope, that means I have to have a positive correlation. It's that simple. So be like, ah, oh, that's not what it is. It's this. It's like, no. Do you have a positive slope? Yeah, positive correlation. Oh. Did our line of best fit fit the line pretty well? Our data pretty well? I think so. What is the slope? We said it was what? What did we just say the slope was? 19 over 10. Done. Cool. Explain what the slope tells us about the situation. Be specific. What well, we just did. So tell me what it said. Yeah, you get so snowpack increases nineteen inches every ten days. So again, that's one point nine inches per day. Is that an unbelievable amount of snow? Well, if we get two inches of snow outside, we're yeah, it just makes things dirty. All right. What are the coordinates of the y-intercept? We just said the y-intercept was 0, comma what? 35. What does that mean? So on December 21st, we had 35 inches of snow already. OK, that was my starting point. That's all it means. OK? What else we got? Thank you, sir. I'll get that graded and then grade work. Okay, let's see. More. Use your equation to find out what? snowpack on Wyoming. What? What? What did I do? Find. Use your equation to find the snowpack on Wyoming Peak 25 days into winter. Okay. All right, so what was my equation we just made? You just wrote it down. It was y equals mx plus b. Help me out. y equals what? 19 over 10x plus 35. Thank you. OK, so we want to figure this out 25 days into winter. So where should I plug 25 into this problem? Oh, x was the what? What Was x days or, or snow? Days. So this is an x value. So we're going to plug this in. y equals 19 over 10 times 25 plus 35. There's a number of ways we could go about this problem. I could say I could reduce. I mean, I could probably say, well, what's 19 times 25? And I'll just use calculator because we're not really testing to see if you can multiply here. So that's 475, and then 475 divided by 10 
is 47.5, agreed? Is that okay? So y equals 47.5 plus 35. So y equals 82.5. What does this 82.5, what does 82.5 mean in the contest? When? What did I do? How did you Did you not what? No, you guys just started talking. I don't remember what happened. The YouTube video. Your boyfriend probably did. Oh my god, shut the hell up. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I know, bro. I know. It embarrasses me. It's, it's horrible. Dude, you are not I didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ready? Yeah. So, this means in the context of the problem, 25 days. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I like. Do we even like use this? Was that you? Yeah. That, that ain't got uh, Hannah going. Hannah, yeah. yeah. so you're you said so all all is going to happen. Hannah's mom's going to call her in again. Yeah. 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 What, man? The reason I need in this is this place. I'm done just. Can I give you the wrong quiz? Let me get down to the lecture. Come help my algebra two kids. All right, twenty five days into measuring, we have. I feel like taking a nap. All right. Hey, last question. I think. Last question, I think. Yep, so I got that. We'll probably get that tomorrow. All right. So what was my equation? Y equals what? Y equals 19 over 10. 10. X? Uh, 25 plus 35. Okay. So how many days into winter will the snowpack on Wyoming Peak be 100 inches? Where am I plugging the 100 into? Uh, X. Oh, wait, no. X no, was no. days, right? Y. 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 100 minus 35. Right. Well, eventually, yes. So now I'll do 100 minus 35. So this becomes 65. Is that okay? Yeah. And then I'll multiply both sides times 10. I get 650 equals 19x. All right. And then 650 divided by 19. 34.2. So 34.2 days after December 21st, we will have 100 inches of snow. What's that, one of the 14ers? Oh. <laughs> I thought this was like a No, no, this is one. Wyoming Peak is one of the 14ers over that way. I want to climb the, one of those so bad, but my mom's like, no. I'm like, Mom, I've been hiking before. She's like, with your uncle. Huh. Mom. All right. So we answered this question in the context. What I want to do is, let's see, this here. I'm going to save this problem to do on tomorrow. So will you bring these notes back tomorrow? And then I want you to try B and C on worksheet number seven. OK? Does that make sense? No, so try it. We'll finish the notes tomorrow. And I wanted to get your quizzes back to you so you have something to work on. Got it? Ow.